Welcome to Accent Your Beauty. I'm excited about tonight's show because we have so many people here to talk that we came into our other studio so we could all kind of sit around and have a little panel discussion and tell you all the ways you can be so much more beautiful than you already are. And I've got guests here that have just got so much information for you that we're going to learn how to take what you were given and make it even better. And if you don't feel like you were born perfectly beautiful, although we all are on the inside, this is a good way to make your outsides match your insides. So Dr. Berkowitz is out of the country, so I'm in charge tonight, and I love it because I'm going to get all kinds of good information that I want to know about how to stay looking good as long as possible. So I want to introduce Julie. And Julie, you are the front desk coordinator, coordinator at Dr. Berkowitz. Yes. And uh, tell me, what does a front desk coordinator do? Well, I'm the first point of contact with new prospective clients or clients that already are established. So I feel that my priority is to make a really good impression, make them comfortable, make them you know, wanting to come into our office, feel no stress, very interested in the procedures. That's what I first try to do when they either call or if there's an email that I end up getting and I have to respond or when they come into the office, you know, I just like them to feel very comfortable. Well, that's really important because a lot of times when you go to a plastic surgeon, you're nervous. Mm -hmm. You're nervous, number one, how much is this going to cost? Then you're nervous, number two, um, what about the anesthesia? Will I wake up and how long will I be under? And then number three, how am I going to look when it's over? Am I going to look like I think I'm going to look? Or is it going to be real swollen for a while? Um, what are people going to think if they know that I had plastic surgery? So I'm sure that everyone that comes in has their own concerns. So it's important that the first person that they meet when they come in mm -hmm. makes them feel welcome, makes them feel that it's great that they're there and that they've made the right choice as far as right. what doctor to go to, correct? Right, right. That's, that's the most important. We want them to feel that they made the right choice to come to see Dr. Berkowitz. Well, hopefully before someone goes to a plastic surgeon, they've done some research, because I think that's extremely important. You just don't flip open the phone book, look up cosmetic surgery, and close your eyes and point to someone. You want right. somebody who either you know someone who's gone to them and had good results, or has a good rating online, mm -hmm. either from Yelp or from the Better Business Bureau, you definitely need to check out your doctor. Are they board certified? How many surgical procedures do they do in a year? You know, if they've only done one nose job in their whole life, I don't think you'd want to go to that person. So a lot of it's the selection. Right. So once they've made the very wise and correct decision to go to Dr. Berkowitz, then they come in and you introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. And do you ask them what they're there for? Like what particular procedures they're looking to oh, get? Oh, of course, of course. Because before they even actually come into the office, they speak with the patient coordinator that deals with the particular procedure that they're interested in. So they're pretty educated on the procedure, what the cost is, what to expect before they even come in. Well, that's good because sometimes... The, the, the price is the shocking point. You know, you mm -hmm. go in and the doctor says, this is not hard to do and we can do this. You want your upper lids done, no problem. It's going to look beautiful. You have a droopy lid. It makes it hard to read. It's covered by insurance. And then you're happy. But sometimes what you want isn't covered by insurance. So you want the number that you're given to be a number you can live with. Right. And so you give them an idea ahead of time, kind of ballpark what it's going to be, right? Right. Yeah, the patient coordinator does. Yes. And you know, it's it's very competitive because different parts of the country are very different with plastic surgical costs. New York and LA mm -hmm. are a lot more expensive right. than here in Michigan. And there's other places around the country that are even less than here, but you don't really know what you're getting because some of those doctors don't do as many procedures. Like in, in Beverly Hills in New York, they're doing it all day, every day. There's a plastic surgeon on every corner. It's mm -hmm. like going to a 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. But other places, it's not as ubiquitous, and there's not as many around. Right. So how many patients on an average do you see every day or every week? Well, you know, we have two different offices. So our, we have a very small office in West Bloomfield as compared to Sterling Heights. 
Um, a week, you know, for the doctor himself, he probably sees mm, 20 patients a week. But we have a nurse that's in a couple of days a week, and she sees, well, she can see 15, 20 patients also a week. And then we have the esthetician that sees her clients as well, and she's there every day. So her range, I mean, her range can be even more than that. So there's a lot of people coming in and out of the door. Mm -hmm, right. And we offer a lot of services. Which is wonderful because the whole key to going to the doctor mm -hmm. is to improve your looks in right. one way or another, whether it's the skin, whether it's the mm -hmm. shape of your face, their right. eyes, whether you're doing augmentation of a chin or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you want to have the aftercare. So after you've done the procedure, you can come back to Dr. Berkowitz's office and get the facials exactly. and get the all the different things that right. keep you looking good longer. Right. We educate the patient or the clients, I should say, quite well. So they know what, what they're getting. They know. Do you show videos to them of what the procedure is going to be like in before and after photos? Yeah, they, yep. That, absolutely. Absolutely. Most of them want to see. They want to know what to expect. Now, what if they ask you if you can give them the name of someone else that's done it, if they want to talk to them about it? Do you have a list of patients that are willing to discuss what they've had done? There are, but we, yeah, of course we have to have patients who are... Well, because of HIPAA and all exactly. that, you can't just give out the name exactly. and, and what they had done. Yes, but that is very helpful because it makes them feel a little more at ease when now, they talk to I'm always happy to, to talk to people who want right. to know about injectables or... You know, uh, rhinoplasties, um, we can go down the list. But anyways, I'm, I'm always happy to talk about it right. because there's no shame to my game. You know, I, right. I want to look as good as I can for as long as I can. Right. And uh, exactly. I, I see no stigma in improving yourself. Right. And they come in and they ask, what have you done? You know, they want to know. They want to know your opinion. You know, what kind of procedures you've had so that they can. Now, know. are you all, everybody that works for the doctor is pretty upfront with what they've done and not done? I think so. I think so. Well, that helps. you, you got to own it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So before we go on to anybody else, let's talk a little bit about your favorite product because I know you brought something that, that you believe in, that mm -hmm. you use, and you have really pretty skin. I won't say mm, your age, you. but you know, thank looks you. beautiful. What's your secret? What product do you love? Tell us about well, it. Well, Regenica is one, like our only skincare line that actually has... Um, growth hormones. Oh, HDH. Yes. And every single one of our products from Regenica has that. Is it all topical? All stuff um, that you use like outwardly? You don't take, yes. there's no pills or anything. Yes. Okay, yes. so what is that that you this, have right this there? This one in particular is the eye cream. Let I love the eye cream. Eye cream. Um, eye so cream. It's, you cr it's we all stimulates cream for eye cream. Very important. No, yes. seriously, eye cream Absolutely. is one of the key products because how your eyes look is one of the most important things because as we get older, the skin under our eyes gets drier right. and it gets thinner and we get more hollow or else we get more right. puffy because if we're, you know, retaining fluids, we get the bags under our eyes. I would say that's probably one of the one products that uh, patients or clients come in and ask for the most. Okay, now do you right. use this before bed or do you use it in the morning under makeup or both? I do both. I do both. Um, that particular, this line, it helps your collagen regenerate. Well, that's what we all want to do. Right. We want to regenerate that collagen. Right. I mean, come on. That's the, the most important thing underlying right. our skin. Right, as you get older. That's right. what binds everything together and keeps it tight. Once you lose collagen, it gets drier and mm -hmm. flabbier. And wrinklier <laughs> right and so, uglier so we don't want to look bad so this mm -hmm. is a good product how much does this cost this one particular eye cream that does anyone eye know cream is a hundred which it's a bit pricier but I mean the effects that how long will this get, last for a hundred dollars would you say a couple I mean, months really two three only months need, I would honestly I would probably say even longer because mm -hmm. you're gonna use the tiniest dot right oh my god so there. then you could get three four months out of this so oh it's yeah like, it's definitely worth it. if you're willing to pay up front it's definitely yeah, it's worth like the 25 dollars a week that's Absolutely. nothing it's I mean, worth it and if you're coming if it's that important to you then it's well, well obviously worth the money. if you're at a cosmetic surgery office it's important Absolutely. to you Absolutely. <laughs> so this does not dry up under your eyes because some of the cheaper products that they sell for under eyes mm -hmm. you put it on and it looks like white flakes after about an hour no. it flakes up. 
this we does absolutely not. not know. It's very moisturizing as well. And you'll see the difference. It'll tighten up yes, under there like Preparation it does. H does. It really does. It doesn't it, smell like Preparation H for those who have hemorrhoids <laughs> under their eyes. Well, haven't really, you heard about that? Everybody's laughing, but haven't you heard about Preparation H for under the eyes? I actually no. have. Yes. Right? Yes. See, yes. people say that that really helps. If it shrinks a hemorrhoid, why yes. wouldn't it shrink under your eye? Except yeah. it, you don't want to smell like that all day. So this is a good product. What else do you have over here that's good? What's this one? Um, this one is the Repair Complex. I have actually only used the eye cream so far. Well, let's talk about this. Yes, the repair complex. Yes, is incredible. Josh is going to jump on board. Yes, Josh, we're going to get to you in a little while as far as your personal story. But in sure. the meantime, since you know about this, tell us what this does. It's incredible. So that's one of the main um, products with the Regenica line. It has a lot of growth factor. Um, I have a lot of patients who use it after like micro needling, um, you know, mm. deep chemical peels, lasers. So it's got it's like pineapple. Or arnica, Even it's better. got it's got that healing exactly um, compound. It's a in it. nice, cool gel, so it feels really great on the skin after some sort of ablative procedure like that. So you only use that when you need it, not every day. I mean, I do have patients who really like to use it every day, but there are other products in that line that are geared for Good. daily So this use. is for after you have your Botox or any of your injectables exactly. and you have little bruises and little things, this makes the boo-boos go away. Absolutely. Okay, we like that. Next, what is this that we have here? Um, this is the replenishing cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now is that the moisturizer, the one that you use yes. to put back the collagen and the moisture in your skin? Correct. It's uh, it, it's your night cream. You know, that's the... Okay, this is the go-to every night. And that is the go-to every single night. Um, patients who use that swear by that. Really? Okay. Yes. And this is how much? We didn't talk about the prices on these two. Is that one sixty? Yes, that one's one sixty. So the Regenica line is definitely a bit pricier again, but again, it's gonna last you a little while if you're you know fairly conservative. So this with one's one sixty mm -hmm. and the one that is the boo boo eraser, what's that one cost? Um, that do one, you know offhand? I'm terrible with our prices. I would say okay, I would honest. say anywhere between sixty and hundred, something like I that. I would say even more. I would probably say like between hundred and maybe like one sixty. Okay, that's fine. So at least we know the price range mm -hmm. here. And this one that you use as a moisturizer, do you just use it at night, or can you use it in the morning under makeup? Again, I mean, I have patients who use it twice a day. Um, there is another product that you are supposed to use during the day that has a little bit of a sunscreen in it. But um, some patients actually say that they prefer to use that twice a day. Now, there's an important thing you just mentioned right there, sunscreen. Yes. How important is sunscreen? So, Josh, since you have the floor right now, and you might as well introduce yourself to the people that haven't seen you on prior shows. Yes. You are the skin tech. You do all the, the facials and all the skin needling and all the wonderful all vampire facials, everything. That's right. So tell our audience how important sunscreen is. It is, without a doubt, the most important thing that you can do for your face. Um, you know, there's tons of products out there, but your sunscreen is the most important. Um, we tell our patients you need to wear it every single day, even in Michigan with, you know, the weather being as unpredictable as it is, the clouds, the rain, the snow, it doesn't matter. That sun is out and that sun is what ages your skin. So we need to make sure that we are protecting our skin. And the UV rays will penetrate through clouds. Absolutely. So just because it's not sunny doesn't mean you're not getting those rays exactly. that dry out your skin, that cause brown spots, that cause wrinkles. Um, picture a turkey, beautiful turkey yes. going in the oven, take it out, look at the skin. <laughs> That's it. That's what you're doing to your skin, it. ladies. Yes. We have so many patients that'll say that, I'm, oh, I'm just driving in the car, but it's still. Oh, that light will come right oh, through the windshield. Yes. So. And the thing that I found, I had a skincare analysis a couple months ago, and I I realized I wasn't putting sunscreen around my eyes, and that's where my skin damage was. Really? So, so everybody take important. note of that. Every product you get, whether it's makeup, whether it's moisturizers, make sure it has sunscreen Absolutely. in it or mm -hmm. apply sunscreen separately because it's super important. Now, Josh, I think that we were going to talk a little bit about the hydrofacials, and I believe we have a clip, correct, on the hydrofacials? Um, I believe we do, yes. Okay, let's take a look at that and then we'll talk about it. And this is the hydrofacial. 
after facial. It is the Rolls Royce of all facials. It uses special serums to penetrate into the skin quicker the rate than you would to get a regular facial. It uses different levels. So first you have an exfoliation, a mini chemical peel. It infuses your skin with very good antioxidants. It also extracts and gives a good hydration. So you leave the clinic looking very, very, very smooth. Okay, Josh, I'm down for a hydrofacial. Absolutely. Okay? Put me in the books because that <laughs> looks like it not only refreshes your skin, but also has like a tightening component. Maybe it's from the, the uh, exfoliating of the outer layers because mm -hmm. that's another thing that women need to do. Men too. Sure. Got to get rid of that dead skin and that, that dry skin and women who have makeup stuck in their pores for the last six months. Got to get that stuff out, ladies. You can't just keep washing your face thinking you're getting deep enough, correct? That's right. Absolutely right. So tell me about this hydrofacial. The hydrofacial, we like to call the Rolls Royce of facials in our office. It is top of the line, the best facial you can possibly get. And really? the reason for that mm. is it uses a couple of different technologies. So it uses um, like a microdermabrasion type technology. So it's exfoliating the skin while you're doing the treatment. We need to get all of that nasty dead skin off first. Oh, yes. Thank you. Please get it off. Exactly. Next. Right. Right. Um, you've got a number of different serums that follow. So we're using an anti-aging serum. We're using a, a mini chemical peel during that as well. And all of those things help to really give you the best facial possible. Oh, it sounds so wonderful. I definitely want to try that. So that's kind of like a microdermabrasion and the glycolic and the HGH, it's everything. everything in one. Exactly. So is it an hour or an hour and a half? So it's typically about 30 minutes. Oh, that's it? It's super quick. Wow. Um, yeah, we can really get in there in about a 30 minute time. And frame. how much is the cost for that 30 minutes? They start out at roughly around 175. They can go up from there depending on, you know, if we do any different types of add-ons, but um, usually about 175 for most people. For a half hour. For now, half what hour. if you wanted the full hour? Can you double that and get we it for an hour? absolutely double it and you know uh, give you an even better treatment oh my gosh all right that sounds great to me when we come back we're going to talk about more ways to be more beautiful we'll be right back what's going on in your neighborhood they say it takes a village it's the simple things the things that are a testament to the old the things that are a testament to the new. Know what's going on in your community. Check out our community channel on newradiomedia.com. Why are we here? What makes a person truly good? For those answers, you're going to have to take a philosophy class. But if you're more interested in who would win in a fight between R2-D2 and a Dalek, watch Get It to the Geeks on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. on NewRadioMedia.com. Maple Lane Golf Club is a 54-hole golfing treasure located in the heart of Sterling Heights. Maple Lane Golf Club offers immaculate greens, a top-flight pro shop, and inexpensive green fees. For convenience, book your tee time online at maplelanegolf.com. Come out and enjoy a great golf experience. Try our nine and dine special, nine holes of golf, and enjoy food and refreshments in the Clubhouse Bistro. That's Maple Lane Golf Club in Sterling Heights. Check us out at maplelanegolf.com. Detroit. It's the home of some of the world's most talented artists. It's where techno and Motown were born. It's a city where you can experience raw, untamed rock and roll. I'm Ben Rose, and I'm inviting you to join me weekday afternoons from 4 to 5 for the Motor City Juke Joint. I'll have interviews with musicians, info on what's going on around town, and a playlist curated by me just for you. It's all right here on NewRadioMedia.com. Do you want to see things like this? Did you just say you died? <laughs> <laughs> well... I mean, technically. Or maybe even something like this. We'll do nothing but destroy your corpses and burn them all for my dogs. Your dogs are gone. And sometimes, a little of this. We need to have a talk. <laughs> I take my axe and I smash it. No! <laughs> and check out Podquesters, the show where we tackle ghoulish goblins, fiendish foes, and dangerous tricks. Oh, like the singer? 
No, the dragon creature. Oh. Anyways, Podquesters, Fridays, only on NewRadioMedia.com. Okay, we're back with my panel of experts here telling you all the things you can do to look better and feel better. Because, you know, when you look better, you feel better. I mean, that's just a fact. When you look good, you know you're looking good. And you feel better and you accomplish more and your confidence and self-esteem are higher. So let's keep talking about all the ways that we can beautify ourselves, men and women. I want to introduce somebody else to you. Jamie, tell us your role with uh, Dr. Berkowitz. Uh, Well, I am uh, the office manager for Accents. Uh, So primarily I oversee the non-surgical side of it in the medical spa. Um, So just overseeing all of the staff um, from the front desk coordinators to the to the nurse, to the patient care coordinator. So, so you're the boss. The, you're the underboss, <laughs> underneath the big boss. The, right, the underboss, absolutely. And um, just more on the business aspect of it, although um, definitely still interact with patients as well. Um, I'm not performing treatments, but, um, you know, I'm definitely sales trained. I come from a sales background. Um, so, you know, in the case that our patient care coordinator, Maria, is um, out of the business, I can step in and fill in for her as well. Um, so, so you know the is, different procedures, you know the pricing, you can sure, explain to someone yeah. how much downtime with this procedure, that particular treatment. Yes. And that's, that's important yeah. because that's one of the first things that anyone wants to know when they go in for something is how much downtime? How am I going to look afterwards? Am I going to be bruised? I always tell everybody, don't do anything, even the simplest injectables the day before a big event. Mm-hmm. Don't go in Friday when you have a wedding Saturday night. Mm-hmm. It's not the smartest thing to do. First of all, I think that we all know that Botox takes a few days to show anyways. And other injectables can cause, you know, bruising, a little like black and blue point where the needle went in sometimes, or even a little swelling if it's at the very beginning, it might be a little overfilled till it settles down. So do you tell all your patients to give themselves a good window? Yeah, I mean, we definitely want to give everyone a realistic, you know, expectation for for their recovery and whether it's injectables or surgery. Um, And that's, you know, we have that conversation with them before they even come into the office. Um, It's kind of part of our sales process of just going through, you know, part of, as Julie kind of spoke about, the education for, for the treatments that we offer, you know, that ballpark pricing, what does the recovery look like? Um, and when they're looking to have the procedure done. So we kind of go through all of that um, on that, an initial phone call, which is, which is great because when that patient does finally come in for their consultation or their treatment, they're, they already feel comfortable. You know, we've built rapport with them. Um, so I think that definitely sets us apart, our office, from, from other offices where you call and just say, hey, I want to make a consultation, and they schedule you, no question, and you walk in and, yeah, you're apprehensive. And so this cuts time and it gets them mentally prepared to come Absolutely. in there and discuss what they're getting. Now, when you talk about downtime, to me, you know, of all the different products and all the different services and even the surgical procedures, it seems to me that the those really deep kind of um, skin resurfacing procedures mm-hmm. take more time than an actual facelift. Because I've seen people that have facelift and a week later they're out and they look pretty good. But when you get those really deep resurfacing, you look like a burn victim for a while, correct? That, that can be the case. It can be sometimes more downtime, depending, I think, on the level of how deep you want to go. Um, I know Dr. Berkowitz has a, you know, many different levels. We have a lot of lasers um, and Josh can pipe yeah, in. Talk but, yeah, talk a little bit about that resurfacing from, because you know, I... Minimal, minimal downtime to, yeah, weeks where right. you are, have to give your life to us, we say, for Yeah, that's exactly what weeks. I'm talking yeah. about because yeah. um, I've seen people, like I said, after a facelift, a nose job, uh, you know, upper and lower eyes, out and about in a week sure. or so, and they look pretty good. But when you have that very, very deep peel... You're going to have to stay home for a couple of weeks, correct? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. So you have to be willing to to put two weeks of time into something like that. But it's so well worth it at the end. If you oh, can yeah. get through the part of looking 
so horrendous. And then the peeling and, and having to slather all the different creams and things on to keep it moist while it's peeling. If you get past that, you're going to look like a newborn baby pretty much, right? Right, absolutely. That's usually when the patients come in for their pre-ops. Um, of course, they're, you know, they're coming up to the desk and they're saying, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. And literally the first thing out of my mouth is, you are going to absolutely love it. I said the nerves are 100% ner- or 100% normal with every single patient that comes in here, and literally after that, you know, if it is a more invasive uh, uh, peel, then you know after that two maybe three weeks they come in and they are the happiest person on the planet. Well, you know, there's there's a difference between a facelift and that kind of appeal because some people have a lot of sagging skin and you need to pull it up. Other people look older because they have a lot of deep wrinkles yeah. and their skin is bad with sunspots. Sometimes you can take 10, 15 years off just by resurfacing the skin, correct Josh? Correct, absolutely. So Dr. Berkowitz explains to all of his patients, basically there are three main components to aging. It's skin tightening, the fine lines and wrinkles, and then the loss of volume. So, you know, a facelift alone is going to be incredible, but really, most people need laser resurfacing as well. You know, yeah, because you can tighten the skin, but if you have bad skin with acne scars and brown spots, you just have a tighter skin with acne scars and brown exactly. spots. So exactly. it's not the total solution, let's say. Right. So some people need a combination. Most Maybe people they do. Need Absolutely. Two out of three, or all three. Sure. And I guess it's what your you know budget will allow for, and then what's your priority. Exactly. So some know. people say, just give me the facelift and I'll worry about the skin resurfacing later or vice versa. Right. But we like to say, if you're going for it, just go for just it. Just do it. Go, go all the go way. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> let's let's really take right. off those years. Now, you brought a product, Jamie, that you thought mm-hmm. we would like to hear about. So Yeah. Um, I was going to talk a bit about the SkinCeuticals line. Um, I think we actually have just a short little video. Okay. To- let's take a look at our it. video here. Wow, that looks like a magic potion of some sort. <laughs> yeah, it's right? like snake oil. But tell us about so, that. What makes yeah. it work? So the the SkinCeuticals line. What I first of all, what I like about this line is, you know, their philosophy is um, kind of threefold. They have prevent, correct, and protect. Um, and you know, your protect is like we said, your your SPF is the, is so important. But the prevention is also really important. Um, and I am in love with their antioxidants. And there's two products here um, that are both antioxidants, which is basically a vitamin C. Here, I'll hand them to you. Okay, um, now, A vitamin C serum. And so do you they sell them in, together or you can buy no, one at a time? And because they're, they're kind of based on um, skin type, um, though they both do similar things. Um, it's a vitamin C serum, very highly concentrated. So um, you really need like what, three drops, Yeah. Um, I put it on in the morning on clean, dry face. You put it on and I mean, I just take the dropper and do, 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 and that's it, rub it in and let it, you know, and then you're gonna follow with a moisturizer and an SPF. But this, um, I mean, I started using it about six months ago. And do you notice a difference I, in your oh, skin? Within days, I noticed a difference, just my texture. So you don't improved. have to buy both of these. Depending on your skin, you would need right. one or the other. Right, so and the Floritin, is um, what I use, and that's for uh, oily skin, more acne prone. Okay. Um, I'm very acne prone and even have some hyperpigmentation from acne scars, so it's gonna be good for that. But it's going to- And it costs how much, this And it is, the price point is 163. Okay. Um, But you know, it's it's concentrated, so you aren't slathering it on, you're just a couple drops through your whole face. And this one's for drier skin? This is for normal skin, okay. even combination skin. Um, I think they they always say tr- start with the CE Ferulic and see mm-hmm. how it works for you. It is a, a little bit more of a high, a slightly higher concentration, um, I believe, of the absorbic acid. 
but um, will this dry your skin this, out? Will you get no, it kind will do of, the opposite. So it's not like the Retin A that kind of no, dries you out, makes you red. Not at all. And this also same price um, range. Yep, and it's the same price point. And the CE Ferulic, yeah, it's for normal or combination skin. If you're acne prone, that's just where it may uh, may not work for you. For me, it it made my skin more oily, and I didn't need that, so that's when I switched to the Floritin. Um, but it's just this is you know what's gonna you know prevent even further atmospheric aging. You know, on top of the sunscreen that you're wearing, this is preventing. Um, you know, pollution that's in the air, just all of those things that are in the atmosphere that are bad for our skin. This is going to break that up. Right, well, there's so many yeah. no, you're right. wonderful Absolutely. products, Josh. How does a, a woman or a man, how does a person decide with all these wonderful lines? They're all comparable in price. You have to know your own skin, right? You, you have do. to know what kind of skin you have. And, you know, that's the thing. At our office, you don't need to decide. That's what we're here for. You know, we've all been educated extensively on everything we do, all the skincare, all the procedures. You know, so that's up to us. We will sit down. We'll talk to you about, you know, your needs and what you're looking for and we'll point you in the right direction well i love the fact that you can come in there and sit down and let somebody else analyze your skin <laughs> so you don't make the mistake that's great we're going to come back and tell you more beauty tips on accent your beauty Tarno knows doors we've got garage doors entry doors store and doors custom doors Tarno knows doors Plus, the latest LiftMaster garage door openers and the toughest retractable screens on the market. All by the push of a button, Tarno Doors is celebrating its 50th year anniversary and is the recipient of the 2016 Subcontractor of the Year from the Home Builders Association. Tarno knows doors. Tarno knows doors. It's all about you, and that's the way we like it. Where you're going. What you do to stay fit. What you're eating. What you're thinking. And how you're feeling. Join the conversation at NewRadioMedia.com's Lifestyles channel. Stream the life you want to live. Hi, I'm Art, and we're the crew at Tuffy Walled Lake. We've been in Walled Lake for 20 years, and through our knowledgeable staff and customer satisfaction, we've become quite the cornerstone in our community and to our discerning customers statewide. We know how important your vehicle is to you, and we take pride in our impeccable, affordable service, and we're trying to get you back on the road as quickly and safely as we possibly can. Please stop in and see why everybody comes from all over to get their car serviced at 784 North Pontiac Trail in Wald Lake. Okay, we're back with Accent Your Beauty. And I think, Danielle, I'm going to give you the floor now because you have some products you want to tell us about. And uh, these are your favorites? This is what you go to for your own personal use? Yeah, I actually, um, I use the Lion Skin Suticles as well. And we brought it into the office maybe about a year ago. And this is my hands down go to favorite line that I've ever used at our office. That says a lot um, because. Yeah. There's a lot of lines available. Oh, so. yeah, absolutely. Um, I stopped using everything that I was um, once I got the samples of these. And it's just, I mean, I can honestly say that they really have changed my like overall skin appearance. Um, so I was actually pregnant recently, um, two years in a row. Almost. <laughs> two, two babies in two years? Yeah, two babies in two years. That's a busy girl right there. Yeah. Uh, when do you find time to work? Um, well, I've taken it a bit easier lately with the second, um, but I still help out as often mm -hmm. as they need me to. I'm always willing to do whatever they need me to. So, Well, pregnancy, for people who are young enough to think about being pregnant, <laughs> it does change your skin because of the yes. hormone changes, Absolutely. right? There's a lot of hormonal stuff and, going on yeah that definitely happened to me mm -hmm. um i i mean i didn't have the greatest skin prior to being pregnant but looks good now it, it's it's getting there um i after my first pregnancy i would say maybe halfway through i um started noticing or dark spots on my face and so i asked josh i was like josh what is going on with my skin 
So um, the further along I got, and then of course I was getting to summer, so I was outside, I um, have melasma now. It is absolutely insane how fast it can appear. Um, I literally, towards the end of my first, I looked like a raccoon. You got the it. mask. Oh, yeah. The I pregnancy mask. I had here and mm-hmm. just a huge circle on my forehead. So, But look, it's all gone. It's almost. We're getting there. Yeah. So I actually have um, the SkinCeuticals, the discoloration defense to thank for that. So, um, I mean, you know, it, it improved a tiny bit after I had my baby. But um, with the discoloration defense, it's actually going to target that discoloration and help... Um, it's going to help improve it by 60 by 60 percent so do you put it all over your face even the other areas yeah i do um i mean every i mean my skin tone personally it's not even at all so i'm going to apply it all over you can use it up to twice a day um and it's just it's going to do wonders for your skin so well josh don't most people have irregular skin that has either spots on it not just acne spots, but you know, discoloration, Everyone. freckles, or Everyone, absolutely. no one's skin is completely flawless mm. except the new baby. Yeah, <laughs> and even then, sometimes they're not right? so flawless. So you do need a little bit of help. Absolutely. And it really got rid of the discoloration. How long ago did you have the baby? Uh, well, my last one, I had her almost four months ago. Wow. Yeah. It's all gone. Yeah, almost. We're yeah. there. I mean, makeup definitely helps, but I, at this point, four months post, I'm definitely comfortable leaving the house without makeup on, without having people stare at me. And that's all due to that, Absolutely. that product. Absolutely. And what's the price of that? Probably around the same, one, one sixty. Uh, uh, yeah, I would say between 100 and 160 Skin SkinCeuticals, again, is going to be a pricier line, but I, like I said, with the Regenica, it's well worth the money. Oh, obviously. If you looked like a raccoon and now yeah. you don't. Absolutely. That's well worth it. Absolutely. I would I would tell any single person that they need to try at least one line or one. Now, um, Josh, does that work on things like uh, freckles and sunspots, things like that? It can help. You know, um, it's not necessarily going to take it away 100%. It's not a bleach. Exactly. You know, it's not a hydroquinone. It's not right. anything like that. You know, but this is definitely something that's geared towards dark pigmentation. So it attacks the melanin in your skin? Correct. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. What's your other product there that I need to know everything so about? So this one is our HA Intensifier. This one is actually my favorite, favorite, favorite of this line. Um, I got a sample of it, which by the way, these uh, both these products actually majority of SkinCeutical products are going to be safe for pregnancy. Um, as our rep said they can't say a hundred percent but i did use the floritin during my pregnancy uh-huh. that jamie used as well um but i transitioned to the ha intensifier now what does that do different that one this one is more geared towards um the elasticity and so the it's skin. more of a tightener yes so this is going to help the overall skin appearance as, as far as far as like the firmness and Josh, the elasticity uh, how do you decide i mean i would want to slather all of it on right? i want <laughs> I know. one for age spots and one for yes. elasticity and one for this and one for that but how many products can you put on right exactly that's the scary part to me is they all sound wonderful mm-hmm. and i kind of want to get every one that we've heard of i want the eye serum i want that i want this but you well, can I layer the floor. Yeah, now you that's, can layer tell these. me, how does that I, work? How do you I layer start with a product? The, well, I start with the Floritin first, and then I brush my teeth. <laughs> so <laughs> let you let us, it soak let in a sit. little bit. And then I use the HA intensifier actually as a moisturizer. It's very light. It's almost mm-hmm. like a serum, but mm-hmm. it's just very light and very smooth. Um, now, the first thing you put on, that is a serum, right? And that yes. kind of sets That's everything up. Correct. You use the serum yeah. to set everything else. And someone with drier skin might want to use a deeper moisturizer. I yeah. just don't need it. Um, so I use that. Um, oh, I want all of this. Then mm-hmm. I use my Right? You do. My I want it all. Um, but it's a hyaluronic acid, so it's going to plump um, oh. and kind of fill. So mm-hmm. it's really going to target your fine lines now, and wrinkles. Does that, and, does that also stimulate collagen at all? Or it doesn't go in deep enough to do that? So, you know, I wouldn't personally say that it stimulates collagen production. If you're looking for collagen production, you know, something like Regenica is probably more geared for you. But, you know, if you're looking to kind of maintain and how on all of it. So what do you how do you can you (laughs) alternate products like do one one day, one another? I have people who do just kind of alternate them all. So this one works a little, then that 
one works a little the next day. You know, you and can combining them. But here's here's the problem with that. You do something like that, you're not really giving any product a fair shot. Yeah, and you don't know which you know, one it was. Exactly. So at the end when someone says, What did you do? It's like, oh, a lot of different things. You know, you <laughs> right. Would, so, exactly. So you should basically try one product for a couple months, let's mm-hmm. say, until that product is out. Yes. See how you like the results. Now, do you advocate that people take a selfie when they start something so, and then take another one in a month or yeah. two months? So here's what I, we like to do in the office is we like to use something called our homage system. And I think we've spoke about it before on a previous show, which is where we go ahead and we take a photo of your skin. And it uses three different kinds of uh, light. So it targets fine lines and wrinkles, enlarged pores, sun damage, everything and anything. And we get a general idea of what's going on with your skin. So when we do something like that and we get you on great skincare, we have a base of where we started at. Now, what's the cost for that? Let's say a new patient comes in and they say, please analyze my skin. What do I need product-wise? We do a complimentary. Oh, so, so, so you'll do that? Absolutely. For free? For free. Come on in. We'll but then you got to buy products, right? I mean, most people, why wouldn't you? You know, there's there's so many products out there and everyone can use something. Absolutely. You know? And they're or great everything. about recommending what's best for whatever your problem now, is. Now, do you work with a person's budget? Like, let's say your line that you're, you're advocating is a higher line. Mm-hmm. Are there some that are less money that are effective, but maybe not as effective, would you say? Yeah, I mean, we have so many different product lines and everything we have, we have something for everyone. Tell me the difference, because I've, in my mind, and this is just me, but I always rate these products drugstore quality, um, right. department store quality, right. and then medical quality. Yes, so is everything everything we have in the office is medical grade. You know, so when I have a patient come in and we talk about skincare, I want to know what they're using right now. And, you know, a lot of times it's uh, oil of Olay or yeah, Regenerous or L'Oreal. It's not that necessarily any of that stuff is bad. It's just it's a lot of water. It's not doing for you what you need it to. Uh Aha. Okay. And then when you go into the department stores, which is more money, Mm -hmm. you know, some of the lines there are as pricey as what you're discussing. Right. I feel like those are and just, I feel like people are purchasing, better. yeah, they're just, they're, they're purchasing, purchasing the name. Brand. Exactly. So a lot of these and cosmetics yeah. and That's skin it. creams are private labeled, but it's all the same stuff if it is right. a medical mm-hmm. grade. Right. So you really need to know what you're buying because mm-hmm. you're putting something on your skin that's supposedly going to change your skin. And if what you're paying for is mostly water and filler, yeah, you're getting cheated. And don't exactly. be fooled. The the drugstores that do sell a, a higher a higher end line, a hundred percent that will be uh, watered down. You're not getting the legit product. So even when they mark them up to the seventy eighty price range mm-hmm. you're better off spending another 20 and spending a hundred dollars and getting the good stuff Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. so yeah. if you're going to buy something for your skin go to a plastic surgeon's office 100%. not not to cvs and almost all of these medical lines are backed by science yeah. they've done scientific studies they do clinical they have yeah. right you you can see the research like you can't go to the drugstore mm-hmm. even the department store and you might be spending three hundred dollars and it's just somebody who's not even that educated yeah now what about these are the ones that get me do you ever go to the state fair you go to a jewelry show you go someplace and there's the setup of these people selling this right it just happened to me at the state fair the other night this lady goes come here i went oh (laughs) me okay i go over and she says hold up this mirror i go oh okay that's me she said hold on and she puts this stuff under my one eye and a blower, you know, like a hair dryer. And she's drying and drying and say, look at this and look at this. Look at this and look at this. This is our new product and blah, blah, blah. The whole thing together was like 280 Yeah. Don't and get I'm me thinking, on that. Oh, I, no, I want to get you started on that. Because I want to know. They said it's from Israel. It's a special, it's the essence of the, you know, Red Sea and this and that. And they told me all about this product line. Who are these people? And is it, are they like snake oil salesmen, like I said before? Absolutely. It's, I mean, they're gimmicky, you know, there's so many product lines out there, you know, and, you know, there's things like Rodan and Fields and, you know, uh, so many things that people believe in. Is that good stuff or no? I don't like it. (laughs) What about Dr. Obagi? Is that good stuff? Obagi is incredible. We sell it in our office. Okay, good. So that's one of the good ones. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's one of the number one skincare, Mm -hmm. I mean, around the world, people are using it. It is amazing. We all have seen incredible changes with some of our patients. All right, so how do you compare Obagi 
to the things you brought today? I mean, it's um. I would say Obage is more the, geared towards like yeah. acne. It's oh, okay. I mean, or problematic yeah. aging like skin. Like proactivist, yeah, something like proactive. Yeah. You know, I mean, so here's the thing. I don't like to consider, you know, these products apples and oranges. I like to consider them more like Coke, Diet Coke, and Pepsi. They're, they're all very similar. And, you know, one may be a little bit more geared towards you specifically. Well, that's why it's important to go in and get that free skin mm-hmm. analysis. Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly. Then you know exactly which products are geared for your skin right because obviously when you're younger it's certainly much more the acne Mm -hmm. you know after having babies it's more of the discoloration along with the you know acne when you get to my age it's all about wanting to look younger it's wanting to resurface your skin it's wanting to tighten your skin it's wanting to you know do whatever you can to bring back that youthful glow that you had 30 years ago right and what's realistic i mean how much younger do you think you can make a woman look based on her skin just generally speaking can you take off 10 years I mean it depends are we talking just skincare are we talking surgery what you know it depends on what well, let's have the, run, the, the rundown if you have a facelift how much will that take off generally anybody I yeah. mean I've seen it take off like 10, 10 to 15, 15 years easy easily yeah. what about easy. resurfacing I mean that can easily take off you know another, I would say the same thing yeah. 10, 10, 10 to 10 15 to 20, yeah. yeah it's insane the results that these women men the, the results blow my mind when they walk in the office they're you know they're they're looking like they're looking really beat up looking miserable <laughs> so you just have to really kind of just keep their spirits high and say listen just hit that two week period and you are going to come in here with the biggest smile on your face two weeks later they're walking in oh, a brand new person it's isn't it amazing person. and you know i know that there's always women who say oh I don't believe in plastic surgery. I want to age naturally. You can age naturally if you want to. I'll age <laughs> my way. Thank you very much. No, by the time they hit 40, they're like, eh. They change, they change their, their mind. mind. I don't know. I, yeah. always, I always judged this industry before I got in here. I always said, I will never get Botox. Oh, I will I never do filler. Thing. I, I never. started. Yeah, Me I too. started here. I think it took, what, three months before I yeah. got my lips done and got my yeah. Botox. I, I never, ever said No. As soon as I heard, as soon as they came out with collagen, thirty years ago, I went. I'm first. Don't so obviously, we all need to do what we need to do. Absolutely. And there's no shame in it. I mean, I think it says a lot about you that you care enough about yourself to take care I, of your skin. I would honestly say that's one of the most important things to reiterate to patients in this industry. There is no shame in this. Well, I, I can't even tell you how many times I have. But we're going to come back, yeah. and before we close out the show we're going to talk about your lips yes so we'll be right back What's going on in your neighborhood? They say it takes a village. It's the simple things. The things that are a testament to the old. The things that are a testament to the new. Know what's going on in your community. Check out our community channel on newradiomedia.com. And action. And millions of ducks. Two guys go to newradiomedia.com. The Arts and Entertainment Channel on New Radio Media. Dot. Come! It's all about you, and that's the way we like it. Where you're going. What you do to stay fit. What you're eating. 
What you're thinking. And how you're feeling. Join the conversation at NewRadioMedia.com's Lifestyles channel. Stream the life you want to live. Danielle, we're back, and you're up, Danielle, because we want to hear about your beautiful lips, because those are not the lips you were exactly born with, correct? Oh, absolutely not. So tell me what your lips looked like before you had the injections. Oh, God, my lips were terrible. I mean, yes, I know it was the lips I was born with, but I had zero upper lip. I actually um, was lopsided on, on my upper lip. I had, like, the tiniest pout on my lower lip, and then I was completely thin like right over here. So it was terrible. I look at old photos and I hate them all. I wish I could Photoshop my lips and all of them. It's embarrassing looking at them. Wow, so how long ago did you start? Uh, I started actually three years ago, this month. Okay, so. and your first experience when you did it, oh, was God. it painful, were you scared? I was how did you terrified. feel? They, I told them they knew from the beginning I wanted my lips done. And then I was just sitting at the front desk one day, and they're like, all right, Danielle, let's go. Let's, let's do your lips. I think my whole body started sweating. I was freaking out. And then, um, I mean, Dr. Berkowitz is amazing with lips. He's unbelievable, so comfortable. He's very calming. There's no pressure at all. Um, I chose to do a dental block with mine. So you just get, you know, two little shots up at the top and at the bottom. Um, so, I mean, you're completely numb. You can't feel the needle going into your lips at all. Um, Did you feel the first needles that blocked it? Yeah, you feel those, but that's just like going to going to the dentist and getting a shot. Ugh, for like I don't like that either. It's not, but I mean... What about the numbing cream? Does that work? Yeah, I had... Um, so I've had five syringes in my lips throughout the last three years. Um, again, I needed, I needed three at first to build my lips up um, because I d that's just to the point that I wanted to. Some women come in with you know my similar lips and they only get one syringe and they're satisfied. I wasn't. Um, so the first three I had the dental block and then Miss Sylvia, wonder, our wonderful <laughs> nurse, she's phenomenal with lips too. Um, she's here by the way and we're going to introduce yeah. her in a minute to talk a little bit more about this but go ahead she uh, she convinced me to try the numbing cream my fourth time um i wasn't a fan of it i'll be honest with you so it I, didn't help enough right no it didn't i have low pain tolerance so do i so the pre-injectable shots were better than they numb, the they numb you more. I okay. will I will say that the afterwards, um, you're a little more sore afterwards. You can feel where the shots, uh, the numbing shots were placed. Uh -huh. um, so, I mean, that, yeah, that's, uh, you know, a little brutal with the recovery right there. But to me, it's well worth it. Okay. I'd rather feel How long bad. does that last? How long would you say? The numbing? No, that little pain oh, after. Oh, um, I mean, for me... I mean, it's it's different every time. That's all I can say. Well, how many times have you had to redo it in the last three years since you started? With my lips? Yeah. I've done them um, five times. So, like, about every eight months? Oh, uh, every well, six months, like I said, in the every beginning... Every six months, maybe, huh? In the beginning, I got three syringes within four months. And then So you just that, kept adding, layering more and yeah, more, because you liked the look, so you just said, give me more. Yeah, see, the more. thing is, like, three <laughs> sounds like so much, but for me, it still looked natural. I would tell people I got my lips done, and they wouldn't believe me. So, and then, but after that, after my third one, I was satisfied with it, and I didn't have, then I got pregnant, I didn't have a syringe of filler for a year and a half. And they stayed. They did. I, I mean, towards the end, I definitely started noticing a difference. Um, but then even this most recent time, it was a year. And I, to be truthfully, I could have went longer, but I just desperately wanted my lips done. <laughs> I think you get addicted. It's like tattooing or oh something. Gosh, you yes. just want more and more and more, right? I would sit in the office with them and watch Sylvia inject. And I'm like, oh, my God, I want my lips I would like crave getting my lips done. Even though they thing. didn't need it, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she would just want more and more. She would just she want more and it. more, yeah. Just now, to maintain it. Do most of the women that come in for the lip augmentation, do they leave there pretty happy with how they look? I, yeah. 
I would say every single patient that leaves the office. So is nobody's happy. complained that they were overfilled or not filled enough because you work with them. We, so yeah, you, we wouldn't overfill anybody. Yeah. We like to space them out a month to two months in between. But you also know um, if a patient really wants something fuller, kind of that you you tell them that to expect a process. It's a process. Um, or if others just want something subtle, we tell them one syringe will do it for you. Okay. Well, see, that's the important thing mm-hmm. is that you work with each individual client so that you're not giving them more than what they want Mm -hmm. so they tell you you fill it to that level and then let them look at it and if they're happy they're happy right i mean i honestly have heard dr berkowitz tell some patients that he's not filling them anymore Mm -hmm. oh absolutely they're they're very conservative when it comes to we do tell them yeah yeah. well that's maybe (laughs) michigan's different but if you look at la where i live Oh my gosh, some of the women in Beverly Hills, I mean, their lips look like two pillows. I mean, they're they're just so large yeah. for their features that mm-hmm. it doesn't look the proportions are right off. anymore, yeah. right. It might look good on a different face, mm-hmm. some of them, you know, with larger features, but you know, when you're looking at somebody who has little face, little features, you don't want those big fat lips on that person, correct? It just doesn't look right. Yeah, you have to work with proportions on the face, so. Yeah. I Do you ever have like, anybody that, that didn't get exactly what they wanted, so they went somewhere else and added to it? Or you wouldn't know not, that. I would I know. say vice versa. <laughs> it's vice versa. Yeah, yeah we yeah. have had we patients. We get a lot of patients that come to us that yeah. want corrections from other doctors. Right. And sometimes it involves removing the filler or mm-hmm. dissolving. I shouldn't say removing. It's dissolving the filler. How do you dissolve it? What do you put um, in there? There's a... There's another injection that we use that breaks down the filler quickly. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, but does it do it evenly or does yes. it look lumpy? Yeah, we just have to inject it evenly. Oh. But some people come in with lumps, so it just mm-hmm. you have to work yeah, with the the lumpy isn't good. Teen. There mm-hmm. you go, guys. Well, I hope everybody listening got some great tips on products they can buy. Dr. Berkowitz, we miss you, and we hope you'll <laughs> be back soon. And we hope we did you proud tonight because we definitely are representing you. So remember, accent your beauty. Do the most you can with what you got. We'll be back next week. Bye. Doctor, my eyes have seen the years and the slow parade of fear.